You know that one moment where a split decision can just change the trajectory of your life? Well, in the new show, Ordinary Joe, we get to see all the different paths that could have been for Joe Kimbrough, played by James Wolk. And it's a journey that will touch you from the start. Take a look. And star of Ordinary Joe, James Wolk is here with us now. Good to see you. How are you? Hey, I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing good. I watched this show last night. I love it already. I can't wait to watch more of it. But, you know, we meet you at this kind of crossroads in your life. Yeah. You're at your college graduation. Tell us about these three different paths that we see you embark on. Yeah, so you meet uh, Joe Kimbrough, the character I'm playing, the day he's about to graduate, as you said, and he has three different options in front of him, as yeah. the audience will see, and he makes a choice basically you see what happens in the three different choices so you yeah. see the 10 years that took place had he made a different choice so you're watching these like three alternative lives and it plays with this idea of choice you know yeah. how choice drastically shapes who we are what what we become and i think that's something that everyone can really relate to i mean it, it is such a relatable idea because how many of us out there have not thought well if i just did this one thing differently yeah where would my life be now so when you were reading the script what did you relate to yeah, I mean, for me, that was exactly what I related to. I remember graduating from college and just feeling like the weight of the world on my yes, shoulders. Like, I, should I do the right thing? Should I do what my family wants me to do? Should I follow my dreams of, of acting and, and the arts? And so when I read the script, I was like, oh my God, this is me. I, yeah. I totally get this. And then I realized everyone has that yeah. moment. So it's really fun to play in a show that I think is going to ask people to ask those questions of themselves. Yeah. And the theory behind our show is there's no right answer. I know. We're all just yeah. living our lives, and I love that. There, there's no, like, Joe should have done this. You're, you're just kind of seeing him do his best with what he has in yeah. each life. Well, which Joe did you relate to the most? I, I think I related most to Nurse Joe. Uh, so okay. Nurse Joe is basically, he's a father. Um, it, he, of all three Joes, he's the one that's a father. Yeah. And I just became a father. It was pretty seamless for you. Yeah, I became a father yeah. the last four years. We have a four-year-old and a two-year-old. So and I just love being able to kind of fill my art up with the journey I've gone on as a yeah. parent. Yeah. Well, let me, you know, as a parent, that's amazing. Yeah. As an actor, this show is amazing for you because <sighs> You get to play these three different iterations of one character. Yeah. How how are you keeping that straight? I mean, it's uh, it's it's, gotta be, it's jumping all over the place. On the weekends, I am like I turn into a pumpkin. I'm like exhausted. But during the week, I would say the most challenging thing is that it's not keeping track of which character you are. Yeah. It's keeping track of your relationship with the other characters. Yes. And what I mean mean by that is, in one storyline, Joe's married to this woman, Amy. In another storyline, Amy and Joe haven't seen each other in 10 years. Yeah. And so we could be shooting two of those characters in the morning where we're playing you know, married couple who are in love and in the afternoon we have to pretend like we haven't seen each other in yeah, 10 years. So, weird. so that's yeah. a trip, like trying yeah. to keep track of that, you know? Yeah, because the, all the storylines are intertwined in a certain way. Yeah. Um, but you know, I, I've heard that this was, you know, the reviews on this are that it's one of the most original shows that they've seen in, oh, wow. in a really long time and people are loving this. Yeah. But I heard that it was on the table or on a shelf for like 10 to 15 years. Why do you think right now was the right time yeah. and it's working now and it, maybe it wouldn't have worked when it was, you know, five years ago? Yeah, that's a really interesting question. So the show has been sitting there for about 15 years, not because it's not a great show, but because the original creator, Matt Reeves, took a different direction in his career. He's directing Batman now and doing all these things. And our two writers, uh, Garrett Lerner and Russell Friend, who are amazing, found Matt's script and said, well, we can do something with this. We can update this and bring it into 2021. And the reason I think it's perfect for right now is I know me personally coming out of the pandemic, yeah. I love stories about human connection. Me too. Because we were starved of it for so long. And this is all about that. It's all about human connection and being driven by the love of friends or the love of family. Yeah. And so I think people are really going to respond to that. I think so too, because I responded to that last yeah. week. Just the way, exactly the way you described it, I think is what drew me in too. And hopefully it'll draw everybody else in and they'll tune in every week. You can catch yeah. Ordinary Joe premiering tonight at 10 p.m. on NBC. James, thank you so much for stopping thank by. Thank you. Great to talk with you.